Hi, my name is Mahek. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you intermediate editing tools and tips for Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS. If this is your first time using the app, I would recommend that you check out the Getting Started tutorial, where I walk you through the entire Cinemagraph creation process, from concept to filming, editing to export. If you're familiar with the app and you're comfortable with concepts such as the timeline, looping, and cropping, you're probably ready to dig deeper. So let's get started. So just to recap, you're going to need three things to create your cinemagraph. Firstly, you're going to need a digital camera, preferably a DSLR that shoots at least high definition footage. Secondly, you're going to need a tripod to shoot perfectly still footage. And finally, you're going to need Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS. I want you to create a cinemagraph that really focuses on the different types of motions that you can bring to life. Let's take a look at this product shot of milk being poured into tea. When working with liquids, it is important to try to get a consistent but visible pour while shooting your video. I've shot about 10 seconds of footage, and now it's time to import it into Cinemagraph Pro and start creating our cinemagraph. Head over to the timeline, which is below your cinemagraph, and select the section and length of the footage that contains your movement. Drag the handles of the trimmer to the desired portion of your video. As you move the handles, you will see an overlay of your first or last frame. This will help you match up your first and last frame as best as possible to ensure a seamless transition between repeat loops. Select the point in the video where the milk swirls around in the tea and creates a mesmerizing texture. Pick the still image by moving the still image selector. For the still image, let's freeze the motion of the milk pouring into the tea. Now, you're going to mask your video. Select the brush option above your cinemagraph. Play around with the hardness and opacity brush elements, which will make it easier to blend the motion of your cinemagraph into the still image. Cinemagraphs that involve a subject staying still and liquids in motion require precise editing for different details in order to ensure a clean blend between photo and video. The hardness tool allows you to adjust the edges of your brush to be softer or harder, which then shows the hardness or softness of the edges of your still image and video components. Let's compare. You can see what the masking looks like with a harder brush. With a harder brush, the edges of your brush become more defined and you can see a swift stroke when masking. With a softer brush, the edges of your brush become more feathered and less defined. When you mask, you can blend the edges of the still image component of your cinemagraph with the video component smoothly without seeing individual strokes. Some cinemagraphs require a harder brush and some a softer one. It depends on your motion and how much you need to blend it. The opacity tool helps you control the transparency of your brush. Like the hardness tool, the opacity tool helps you to blend your video into your still image. If the opacity is set to high, that means that your brush is less transparent and the division becomes more clear. If the opacity is set to low, that means that your brush is more transparent. The division between the still image and the video is less clear. Now that you have an understanding of hardness and opacity, let's adjust the settings and mask. Go with a smaller brush size. Use a very low hardness and a medium opacity. This way you mask precisely, but also blend the edges of the motion seamlessly into the still image. Here's a tip. Switch over to the eraser tool and adjust the size, opacity, and hardness options. In this case, use a smaller eraser and lower both the hardness and opacity to softly freeze the milk pour and blend into the edge of the motion component. In this cinemagraph, the milk will be mixing into the tea. Now, make your eraser size bigger and lower your hardness and opacity a little bit more so that you see a more gradual yet seamless blend between the motion in the mug and the pour that is occurring above it. This will go a long way in creating a subtle but mesmerizing cinemagraph.
Next, let's work on the look and behavior of our cinemagraph, starting with the loop tab. Since you are trying to show fluidness in the milk pour and the movement in the glass itself, the repeat loop will work nicely. Right now, the repeat function seems a little harsh and doesn't quite create the illusion that we are looking for. To change this, you need to alter both the speed of the motion and the crossfade. The crossfade blends the beginning and end points of your repeat loop beautifully. It only works with the repeat loop, and no crossfade, or too little crossfade, often makes your cinemagraph look like it's jumping and stuttering. Play around with the crossfade until you are satisfied with the continuity of your loop. Now, let's add a little color to your cinemagraph using a combination of the Adjustments tab and the presets. First, click on the Adjustments tab, which gives you access to different color correcting options and elements of your cinemagraph. Before you start playing around with them, click on the icon above the brush icon in the top left corner, which will open the Presets menu. Select a preset that best shapes the look of your cinemagraph. Once you've decided, let's pay attention to the Adjustments tab once more. Based on the preset you have selected, you can now alter different color correcting, light, and tone curve elements. Using the combination of presets and the adjustment tab together provides you with an editing foundation that you can then adjust based on your preferences. You can even add a vignette that will guide the viewer's eye and stylize the cinemagraph. If you like the new preset settings and want to reuse them for a different cinemagraph, simply click on the new preset button above the presets options to save it. You can also use different transformation options in the crop tab. Perfect, your cinemagraph is ready to be shared and you can do so in a couple of different ways. You can easily export your cinemagraph for social media using one of the preset export options or create a custom export. Or you can upload it to your Flixel.com gallery for millions to see. We love to see and feature cinemagraphs created by our incredible Flixel community across all of our social media channels. Keep practicing with the demo document that we just went through so you can master your masking, crossfade, and customized color adjustments. If you are still having some trouble, I would recommend revisiting the Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS Getting Started tutorial. When you are ready to develop your pro level skills, check out the advanced Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS tutorial, which tackles topics such as masking body parts, creating the perfect loop, and building your own presets from scratch. To find more inspiration on how to reach your Cinemagraph goals, make sure you check out our curated Flixel.com galleries. We are constantly creating new resources to help you along with your Cinemagraph journey. We love profiling creators, sharing brand stories, and featuring work from the Flixel community. If you have any questions or want to learn more about what's going on in the world of Cinemagraphs, make sure you connect with Flixel on social media, where we share the latest tips, tricks, and news. We'll see you soon.